Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zach, you guys can call me Hazardous. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video here on my channel today where today I'm going to be talking about the possibility of a Veterans Day DLC coming out in COD World War II. This is something I've seen on Twitter and since Sledgehammer Games actually did commemorate veterans and make a post about Veterans Day over on their Twitter, um, people on Twitter are thinking that there is going to be a COD World War II Veterans Day DLC. And in this video I want to talk about some of the new DLC weapons, new outfits, new calling cards, and emblems that I would like to see in this possibility of a DLC since it is confirmed that Tuesday November 14th Sledgehammer is introducing COD points and probably some type of DLC weapon or new type of content with new features for players in COD World War 2. So to get started obviously with the Veterans Day DLC I'd want to see some new outfits for the divisions for the infantry division for the airborne division for the mountain division just different types of outfits you know they already have epics legendaries and heroics in the game but maybe they can add a new type of tier for the outfits if they were to come out with new outfits in the COD World War II Veterans Day DLC. I would also like to talk about some weapons I want to see in this DLC and one of those is the M4 Survival Rifle. That is an American produced weapon and it's similar to the M1 Carbine but it's smaller and it's more lightweight and it looks like this could be a possible DLC weapon that is coming out November 14th if they were to make that their Veterans Day DLC. One of the other weapons is the M1919 Browning. If you guys remember from Call of Duty World at War which came out in 2008 which Treyarch developed, that was basically like a light machine gun you could carry around in the game and even though it's not in this game I would like to see it as a possible DLC weapon in the upcoming future Veterans Day DLC or other DLCs for COD World War II. And then of course, since the uh, Japanese and Russian forces aren't in COD World War II, that's strictly focused on Germans and Americans and their militaries, um, it's just strange that they have the PPSH and the Type 100 in this game. Obviously those are two very iconic weapons from World War II, but I would like to see like the Arasaka, which is a Japanese weapon. You guys remember that from World at War? That's again another possibility as a DLC weapon. And then the Nambu pistol, which was the Japanese pistol that they used. So those are two different different Japanese weapons that I like to see in the game. And then lastly, for the Russians, even though they're not in COD World War II, I'd like to see the Mosin Nagan come. Basically, they have the Kar 98K, they have the Springfield rifle, but they don't have the Mosin Nagan as the rifle. It's basically a bolt action Russian variant of the weapon. It's pretty cool in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys would like, I am coming out with a best class setup for the bar later today, so be sure to tune into my channel for that. If you guys want to see any other best class setups on the channel, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I also just want to give a quick reminder for my monthly channel sweepstakes. I'm looking for the most active person on my channel, so if you comment, like the video, and subscribe, if you follow all three steps and let me know down in the comment section below, you are entered into the monthly channel sweepstakes where you can win a $25 Amazon gift card to spend on whatever you'd like. With that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. I'll, I'll have another video out later today, and I'll see you guys then. Adios, amigos.